So you're thinking of moving to Portland, Oregon? Well, I think it's about time we address the elephant in the room here. No, seriously, there's a lounge here where there's an elephant and it lives underneath the floor. <laughs> I'm just kidding, we're not that weird. Actually, the real elephant in the room is Beaverton. You know, cause Portland isn't the only city in Portland. Beaverton is the sixth largest city in all of Oregon, and it's just over the hill from downtown Portland. And if you're moving to this area, you're gonna wanna know about it, so stick around. In this video, we're gonna talk about a few different neighborhoods of Beaverton and how they compare to each other. We're gonna talk about schools. We're gonna talk about the scenery. And we're gonna talk about just the general quality of life in Beaverton. We'll talk about the elephants of Beaverton. Dude, what is it with you and elephants? What, I like elephants, okay? Ah, never mind, sheesh. And we'll even talk about the real estate market in each neighborhood. But first, if you're thinking of making a move to Beaverton or anywhere in the greater Portland area, I would absolutely love to help with making that a smooth move for you and help you buy that perfect home. You'll find all my contact information right down below this video, so make sure you reach out via call, text, email, or better yet, snag some time on my calendar and book a Zoom call so that we can have a face-to-face -face conversation about your move to Portland and see if we can help you get into that ideal home. So with that out of the way, let's jump right into what I think you want to see, which are the neighborhoods. And make sure you stay with me till the end because I'm saving the best for last. Spoiler alert, there is a lake. But starting off now with one of the most affordable neighborhoods in all of Beaverton and all of the Portland metro area for that matter, that's going to be Central Beaverton. Does it lack in quality of life being one of the cheapest areas in all of Portland to buy a home? With all of the amenities I'm about to tell you, I'll let you be the judge. Downtown Beaverton is at the heart of this neighborhood and it's not your typical downtown with high rise buildings, there's no riots, <coughs> Portland, <coughs> I'm just kidding, those haven't happened since 2020. It's just a quaint, walkable area with lots of bars and restaurants and shops. And not too far from that, on the north edge of central Beaverton, you will find Cedar Hills Crossing, which is a massive, and I mean massive, shopping area. There's over 70 different businesses in this area, so you can basically take care of all of your daily errands in this one spot. They even have medical centers, including a hospital, urgent care centers, a dentist's office, and even a pet hospital. It's like its own urban commercial city. It's kind of insane. There's many different types of cuisine in central Beaverton with an abundance of Asian restaurants. There's also great Mexican food options as well as some classic Italian restaurants. For everyone who loves to get outside and get some fresh air, there's three parks in central Beaverton, one of which being 10 acres. One thing to note about the parks on this part of town, we have what's called the Tualatin Hills Park System, which is not just in central Beaverton, but all of Beaverton and all of Washington County for that matter. They're all really great parks that are super well maintained and always really clean. They'll typically have a play area for the kids, butting up to a forested nature area with trails and walking paths. The acclaimed Beaverton Farmer's Market takes place on Saturdays from February through November in central Beaverton. With over a hundred vendors, it's a great place to walk around, find a bite to eat on the go, as well as take home some fresh seasonal produce, some fine locally made goods, or perhaps some locally raised meats. Multiple highly acclaimed schools serve the central Beaverton area, including Beaverton High School, Southridge High School, and Fir Grove Elementary School. The median year built in central Beaverton is 1974, and the median home price at the time of making this video is, wait for it, wait for it, $405,000. That definitely confirms it being one of the most affordable neighborhoods in all of Beaverton and the entire Portland metro area. Did somebody say value? Anyways, that's enough of that. And now for something completely different. So if you would be fine with sacrificing a little bit of walkability and convenience with a much heavier dose of authentic Pacific Northwest and more of an emphasis on just peace and quiet, then this next neighborhood is for you. Highland is a beautiful escape from the hustle and bustle from the rest of the city, and it's known for being heavily wooded, its picturesque mid-century modern homes, as well as its two-story and split-level homes too. It's not necessary 
necessarily the best neighborhood for walkability, but it's a beautiful place to go for a walk, if that makes sense. In this neighborhood, you are going to find huge lots with lots of trees on them, which gives you that quintessential Pacific Northwest feel. Similarly to the next neighborhood I'm gonna talk about, there is a great deal of walking trails weaving in and out of this neighborhood. And it even backs up to a great nature park called Highland Forest Park, which can make you forget that you're in the middle of the suburbs completely. This place really is an absolute gem. The median price of Highland is right around $582,000. And it's a highly competitive market, which means that there aren't very many listings typically, but when there are, they get snatched up pretty quickly. For a good reason though, I mean, who wouldn't wanna live in this place? While it's a much more tranquil option than its neighboring neighborhood to the north, it's also a very quick drive from all the amenities that Central Beaverton has to offer. So in some ways, it's the best of both worlds. Speaking of having the best of both worlds, this next neighborhood in the south part of Beaverton in many ways combines the two shining qualities of the last two neighborhoods I talked about. Only 15 minutes to the south of downtown Beaverton, Neighbor Southwest is one of the best places to live in all of the Portland metro area because it offers residents an urban suburban feel like no other. Unlike other Beaverton neighborhoods, Neighbor Southwest was designed with a modern suburban lifestyle in mind. With a charming, beautiful landscape full of single family homes and a great network of trails and parks, as well as urban amenities that will be able to meet your daily needs. No matter where you are in the neighborhood, there's convenient shopping and dining available. Whether you're at the north side at the Murray Shoals Town Center or the south side at Progress Ridge Town Square, which offers tons of shopping and dining, plus a bit of entertainment with an AMC movie theater and Big Al's bowling alley and arcade. There's so much stuff there. That's also where you'll find another huge new seasons, which is the place to shop for groceries in the Portland metro area. It's kind of like Whole Foods, but even better and more Pacific Northwest centric. All of that is set right next to the beautiful Progress Lake, which is actually well stocked with rainbow trout every year. The schools that are fed by neighbors Southwest are exceptional and highly rated and include, but are not limited to Mountainside High School, as well as Shoals Heights Elementary. The residential areas are absolutely lovely and very quiet with tons of tree-lined streets with sidewalks and cul-de-sacs that make this neighborhood as tranquil as it is scenic. Are you a lover of birds? To keep things nature themed in this community, all of the residential streets are actually named after birds. Who wouldn't want to live on a street called Snowy Owl Lane or Falcon Drive or Goldfinch Terrace? My personal favorite, Southwest Goal Lane. Anyone else imagining a seagull wearing a cowboy hat? No, just me? <laughs> Alrighty then. The median year built of all the homes in this neighborhood is 1994, which makes it one of the youngest and newest established communities in all of Beaverton. You will find a harmonious mix of single family homes on large lots, as well as townhomes, condos, and apartments in this community. So there's options for everybody depending on your lifestyle and your budget. Speaking of budget, the median home price in this neighborhood is $710,000, which is nearly 24% higher than it was one year ago. So that just means this too is a pretty competitive place to buy a home, but that's nothing that your realtor, psst, that's me, won't be able to expertly guide you through. Beaverton is pretty great and there's a lot of reasons to consider living there, as you now know. Beaverton is in fact a city that is still growing and there are many new communities being built as we speak. Some really great ones are actually just a few minutes away from this neighborhood which I actually mention in this video right here, which is all about some of the best new and up and coming neighborhoods in the Portland metro area. Thanks for watching and we'll see you over there.